What is up, Humanoid Nation? So I just got back from watching X-Men Apocalypse. Yes, I know I'm late. That's how I am. But hey, it's better to watch a movie a week late so you don't have to have, like, a feeder full of people. Although, it it's amazing to have a feeder full of people on the first day the movie comes out because you're going to have a really good time with some shit going down. But hey, X-Men Apocalypse. Only, like, five people were in there. So it was good. But anyways, so let's get with start with the movie. I don't get why reviewers, reviewers like, legit reviewers, like movie reviewers, not internet reviewers. It's not like I'm saying internet reviewers are not legit. They are kind of, but the actual legit reviewers are like bashing it left and right for some reason. I don't know. I actually liked it. I had no problem with it. Except uh, they changed some things around, which they usually do. Which is like, uh, Mystique is not really, uh, the mother of Nightcrawler in this version. Which is kind of weird. Because in the comics they are, but yeah, I can see why they changed it. Because, like, they have a young Nightcrawler and a young, I wouldn't say a young Jennifer Lawrence. Well, she is young. You know what I'm talking about. 73, 60s. X-Men Days of Futures Past. When did it start? The 60s. Yeah. And they went to 70s and now they're in the 80s, so... Yeah, she should be like pretty old by now, shouldn't she? The only one that looked older was Michael Fassbender because for some reason I couldn't even recognize him when he first showed up on screen. He like this Polish guy. He was in Poland, right? Yeah, because his family. First, I didn't know who the hell this guy was. So, like I'm wondering, why are we focusing on this one dude? And he's talking to his kid. I didn't know it was Michael Fassbender, Magneto, because he has such a, a beard on, and like I couldn't recognize him. And then I put two together when the next thing you see him in is like he's in the factory, saving this guy's ass from this metal thing that's about to drop on his head, and he uses his Magneto powers to save the guy. Wait, when did Magneto turn good all of a sudden? And when, he, when did he stop murdering people along the way? Because wasn't the last time he, we saw him, he was just... Murder and Revenge, and what's up with his Magneto? Speaking of Magneto, is he no longer a fugitive just because he stopped Apocalypse? He's no longer to run? Like, at the end of the movie, you see him rebuilding the fucking Professor Xavier's School of Gifted Youngsters. That's some talent, though, but yeah, you're building on the inside. It's like, yeah, what about the plumbing and shit? That's what I'm thinking, like... As soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, are you sure you got your plumber and the design and shit? Because there's got to be some messed up shit in there. But hey, movie logic, whatever. So I guess he's no longer a fugitive and he just walks away at the end. And the origin of uh, Professor Xavier being bald, how he got bald was pretty funny. Gets into a mind dream thing with Apocalypse and then he burns off his hair. So really, that's why he's bald. <laughs> He can't grow out his hair anymore, not because he's old, just because he got into a mind fight with Apocalypse that he burned his hairs. So he can't grow back his hair then. Okay. But yeah. The guy who stole the show once again, Quicksilver. Man, in the last movie where he's breaking out Magneto, the slow motion, that shit, that was pretty amazing. But they upped the ante in this one. He rescued a bunch of mutants from the school again the dude basically stole the motherfucking movie and I seriously thought he was gonna tell his Magneto that he's his son but for some reason he didn't so what was the person what was the purpose of him trying to find him even though at the end he was like I'll tell him someday F what the fuck also are we not gonna have a Scarlet Witch in this version although there is a Marvel character in uh Avengers, which is Wanda, Maximoff, although they don't call her Scarlet Witch because they can't and they're not gonna call her mutant, but hey, if we have a, can we just have a different Scarlet Witch in this version? People are not gonna be confused, well some people are gonna be confused because some people can't tell the difference between the MCU and Fox owning, or is it Paramount, no Fox, yeah Fox, I think it's Fox that owns the X-Men rights and it's not part of the MCU universe so anything that's going on in the MCU universe doesn't apply to the X-Men 
Because, like, some people are wondering, like, how the fuck the Fantastic Four does not fit in with the MCU universe. Because, yeah, I can see why they didn't do a Scarlet Witch now. Because, yeah, they, cut, uh, they kill off the Quicksilver and the other one and have their own Quicksilver. But, yeah. I'm wondering where the fuck Colossus was. Because, like, goddamn. If you have rights to Colossus and shit, why not have Colossus in there? Why not? And I can understand why they don't have Deadpool in there because they're saving him for a different movie. But, f goddamn. At least you can have Colossus in there helping out. Wait, this is the 70s. Colossus wasn't born yet, was he? No, I don't think so. Can someone tell me if Colossus was a kid in the 70s or he wasn't even born yet? I don't know that much about the X-Men universe. I just know a little bit, but yeah. I know enough that Mystique is the mother of Nightcrawler. Speaking of Nightcrawler, the new Nightcrawler, he was pretty awesome. Funny as hell. He was just Nightcrawler. Oh yeah, and the cameo of Wolverine in there. I've been told by my buddy that, that they just put him in there last minute. Probably last minute because like a lot of people were bitching saying like, Hey, if hey, Wolverine's not in this movie, we're not going to watch it. So pretty much I guess they put him in there last minute. But it was a pretty cool cameo. Which kind of makes sense because like in the last movie, William Stryker kidnapped the dude. To officially make a weapon X, so I guess there's a reason to put him in there. And yeah, he escapes and then runs off into the woods. And I'm saying, like, oh, there he goes off to Canada to be in the first X Men. But apparently, from what my buddy says, the X Men movies from the past, before the trilogy of this shit started going on with X Men. Oh god, there's too many X Men movies. What's the first one? Days of Futures Past? No, X Men and. Fuck, when they first started the young shit going on. When we first meet young Magneto and young Professor X. God damn, I forgot the name. The one word are in Cuba. It starts from there. Anything before that doesn't count. But apparently they do count because like, okay. X-Men 3 doesn't count. But yet they have scenes of X-Men 3 where the fucking Phoenix almost killed Wolverine in one scene. I may be rambling on right now. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but jeez. Oh yeah, I love the shot they took in the movie about calling X-Men 3 crap. Although I enjoyed X-Men 3. Uh, sure, there were some problems with it, like Juggernaut not being the brother of Professor X and just being Australian, whatever the fuck Vinnie Jones is, British. And a bunch of other stuff. Like, yeah, killing a bunch of people. But yeah, some people hated that movie. I didn't mind it. But yeah, I love how they took a shot at that movie because they said, like, in the certain movie's always the worst. I liked it. I love how they uh, established young Jean Grey and Cyclops romance from the beginning. It's like, oh, who are you? My name's Jean. How they meet. And then he just falls in love with her right away when he puts on the glass. He goes, like, who's that girl? You already met her. It's like, dun, dun, dun. It's like the rage, the power of the boner goes miles. By the way, Jubilee, she was in that group when they went to the movies. Yet they didn't put her in the scene where, like, Cyclops, Jean Grey, and Nightcrawler went to save Mystique. She was just stay behind. Okay. But I love how Jubilee has a costume from the cartoon show. The yellow jacket. And she actually looks like Jubilee. Yet I still haven't seen her do her powers yet. But yeah, what else can I say about this movie? Apocalypse, he was pretty intimidating at first, but they really didn't do much with him, even though he's like supposed to be the most powerful mutant of them all. He didn't do much. He just stood there and told people what to do. Sure, it took him a long time to beat him at the end, but Quicksilver just running in there and just kicking the crap out of him was pretty cool. But I'm thinking, really? This is how you take him down? But he put him in the... He put... Quicksilver's foot in the ground, the whatever the shit he does. And then they do the mind scene where they fight inside his head. Pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, then you got to see Jean Grey come in and be all Phoenix-like. I love how they just tease that. It's like, oh, I got something inside me. I bet Cyclops wants something inside you too. <laughs> okay, stupid joke. Is it just me, or was anyone else thinking that Logan Wolverine was kind of like saying, hmm, who is this 
fine ass chick. Even though Jean Grey is supposed to be a teenager in this movie, she doesn't look like a teenager, but she looks fine. I'm just saying, she looks fine. Oh, and I finally realized why she has red hair, because of the phoenix and shit. I'm thinking, like, why the fuck does Jean Grey not have her black hair? And then I'm thinking, in the cartoon, she had red hair. So what the fuck am I talking about? But anyways, it's a good movie. William Stryker being back, it was awesome. Mystique, Jennifer Lawrence, hot as hell as always. Nightcrawler, amazing. Oh, the blob had, like, a two-second cameo. Apparently that's a former wrestler from the 80s or something, from what I read. I don't know his name, but they said hardcore wrestling fans should know this guy, but... I never heard of this guy. So, two seconds cameo of the blob. Angel was pretty cool. Did he die at the end? I'm pretty sure he died. I don't know, because he was took he was taken out by the plane. Yeah, that motherfucker's dead. <laughs> Along with Havoc, who died in the house. But yeah. Oh, Olivia Munn as Psylocke. I'm hope I'm saying her name right. Because I kept on saying the wrong name with my buddy, and he kept on telling me that's not how you say it. So, Cylon or Psylocke. I don't know much about her. What are exactly are her powers besides making her sword do anything purplish? And, of course, Olivia Munn looks stunning as Cylon or Psylocke. Yeah, but other than that, the pacing was good, although some people said it was slow. I didn't mind it. It was really good. <laughs> and the end credits. There was only one. Can now someone explain to me what Essex Corp means? Because I have no idea what that is. Because they took the blood sample of Weapon X Wolverine and put it in a briefcase that says Essex Corp. What's going on there? Can someone tell me? Is that leading into the Deadpool thing later on? Probably, maybe, who knows, but that's my review for now. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Go watch this movie. It's worth it. Anyways, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye!